Abu Deleke. Egg of vulture laid on a kede. You eternal key that unlocks the gate of Ojongo and the spirits of Egerege land. Appear that I may unlock the gate of life, death, and destiny. The day has broken, and it is a K day. The day of the gods of Egerege land. Don't walk a mong, walk a mong, walk a mong, walk a mong. All walk when you. Hmm. I don't walk with me. I have come as usual. Take your sacrifice. Ojong! Oh, Everyone is here! Okunarere! Take for your It is me as a man. It is me. The lioness of the living and the dead in a Gedege land. It is me. It is me as a man who devoured the born and unborn at your service and for your pleasure. It is me as a man. Oh, it is me that opened my laps. 
for your crocodiles to satisfy their sexual urge in order to increase your power and influence in a great land. Ojoku, it is me. It is me who cracked open the heads of my nine children seven days after each of them were born and fed you with their brains. It is me as a wani. Ojoku. What have I done to deserve this angry rejection of my sacrifice on a sacred day like this? You did not offend me, my most loyal servant. As a wine, you did not offend me, but there is a big war coming to our territory. A big war. War? Coming to our territory? Who is not afraid of you? Who dare bring war? It is time to go to war and not for offering sacrifice. The snake that we cut in half and let its angry head escape 32 years ago is coming back to Egedeg, angry and heavily armed with very potent spiritual venom. It is coming to fight us in magnitude that no soul or spirit has ever seen or imagined in a Gedege land. That's them. Between village and town, you know, bush is around. You see? All right. Uh, hey, driver, driver, please take it easy, all right? Oh. Take it easy. Please, please, because you know the road is unpaved. From what I gathered, I heard that this road is. Oh, Jonko. I do not know them. I've never seen their faces before. That's them. That's Obike, the son of Ajugo and his wife. How can that be possible? You destroyed him with every member of his group 32 years ago, including his wife and four children. The very day they mounted a challenge against us before our people. How can that be? Our mortal enemy managed to say his wife, his only son, Obike and the Bere, his first daughter. Does it mean that the Legion of the Rem has turned against us without telling us? The Masters of the Rain and the entire Legion of the Rain are as ignorant of that information as we are till yesterday when OPK arrived by Nigeria with his Gabonese wife, our mortal enemy blinded all us to that reality. The Supreme Commander of the Legion of the Rain, after analyzing what happened 32 years ago, reported to the Grand Master that Ajugo's wife OBK and Ebere, his sister, were snatched up when the thunder that killed Ajugo and the rest of his crew hit the place. They were gathered that day and took them to the safety using a chariot of fire. The grandmasters, and I saw the chariot roaring away, but thought it was part of the fire from the dissolving thunder blast. For that, none of us ever bothered about investigating it any further till OBK's image flashed on the mirror of the seven seas yesterday. It is not time to talk and ask questions. Is it is time for action. Obike and his wife 
must never step foot on Egedege soil. They must not, for the baby in his wife's womb is bad news to you and I. She is our nemesis. So release the staff of mid heaven for an assignment. Release it now. Stop! Eh? Yeah, stop! 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 Driver, stop! 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 Where a monster tear your stomach open and devouring the baby alive? Yes! You, you... I know what you told me, but I'm still afraid, of VK. Oh. Listen, the truth is that I may not know my village people very well. You see my tribe, I know them very, very well, darling. I do not know neither your village people nor your tribe people. I am not from this part. How can I have such a terrible nightmare the day I arrived your country with your VK? On the eve you have to take me to your village. Why would you dismiss my concern about the implication of such a dream the way you did last night and this morning as well? You even insist you will proceed to your village. Oh yes, we have to proceed as planned, darling, because you know why? We are children of God. We are children of most high God. We are children of light. Are not. You said so yourself. Christian or not Christian? What you told me that happened to your family 32 years ago scares me to my bone marrows. And I can't pretend to be okay anymore because I'm not. God will protect us. God will see us through in this journey. Really? Yes. Can I ask you some questions? Go ahead, darling. Where are your family? There you go again. Where are your three sisters? Was God asleep when they were roasted alive by that evil thunder that was invoked by an evil princess in your village 32 years ago? Mitchell. Mitchell. God does not sleep nor slumber. Mysteriously, God pulled my mother and I over. And he took us back to Abba, where she handed me over to his brother before her death. No one in Nigeria knows you and your mother survived that attack because she warned him not to say a thing to anyone. This is the first time you are returning back to your country since then. The very first time you are heading to your father's village where it all happened. Just a few hours to get there again. Your pregnant wife had such a terrible nightmare, and you see it as nothing serious. Can't you think, Obike? Even if you can't see the dream, can't you see it for what it is? A signal from those who killed your father and your mother. God will definitely be going to protect us in this journey. He is going to see us through, darling. Oh, yes. Really? Oh, yes. Your father, your mother. Your sisters also served that same God, but they were consumed by that evil power 32 years ago. Oh, Michelle, Michelle, I am not my parents or siblings. I am a pastor, an anointed one at that. The reason God preserved and protected my life for 32 good years is about to manifest right before our own very eyes, darling. The only thing I see manifesting here is you walking blindly to your death. Oh, the Lord is my light and my salvation. And who shall I be afraid of? The God of Isaac, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego has commanded that I should take you to my own native land. You remember that the prophecy that was given to you in Libraville by Prophet Francio two weeks ago that the baby in your womb is a child of grace. And it's a vehicle that will carry the divine embodiment of deliverance in the land of Egedege. Darling, 
God has already said his word. He's a child of grace and the Holy Spirit has affirmed it that this child has to be given birth in the land of my own birth. And I ask you a question, darling. Whose report will you believe? Is it the report of the Holy Spirit or the report of the bad dream he had last night? Where is your faith as a child of God? Where is your faith? Where is your hope? Oh, be careful. The Holy Scriptures admonish that we carefully examine every spirit that manifests. Let's be led astray unto perdition. Did you do some scripture and recommend the due diligence of the prophecy of Prophet Fasio before embarking on this journey? I say it's not my husband. So why is it so hard for you to see that this dream you dismiss as nothing serious can be a warning from the Holy Spirit, telling us of what awaits us and our unborn baby in your village, Obike? Make sure they that put their trust in the Lord. They are like man Zion. They shall never be taken away. But about there forevermore. Psalm 121, verse 1. And in Psalm 91 said that he that dwelleth in the secret place of most high God shall abide under the shadow of Almighty God. Darling, listen and listen very good. Holy Spirit has said this, and he has said it to the hearing of everybody that you have to put this child in bed in my own home. Eke -teke. That's only when this child's destiny, the anointing that packages this child's destiny, shall get directly manifest. <laughs> listen, we have to leave now. We have to go back. We still have movements. We still have journey to take. Listen, we have not gotten to our destination. Oh, Bika, you can't force me. Hey. You can't force me. The air shall die. It's the same God. It's the same God that forced Jonah in Nineveh. It's the same God that had an encounter with, with Saul in the, in the road of Damascus. Father, you never change. You are still the same. You have to prove to me and my wife that you are the God who packages this journey. You have to prove to us. You have to show us a sign, Daddy. You have to show us a sign because I can't carry this body alone. Lord Jesus, because I put my trust in you, Lord. I know and I believe that you can never forsake us. Hey! What is going on, driver? Driver, who is driving your car now? Oh, God. No! 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 Adolfo! They're coming to the I repeat, it's time for war, not time for questions. Go with the staff of Middle Heaven now. Go and stop them. Dead or alive, they must not set foot on Egedega soil. That child must never be born in Egedega. Go! 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 Ojonku, the great Ojonku, I am back. I am back with Obike and his wife. Here they are before you. You failed in your mission. How, Ojonku? I turned them into calabash. This is the person you turned into calabash. <laughs> Our mortal enemy is at it again. This is history repeating itself. Michelle, Obike's wife, is already inside Egedege as we speak. Is a wine. 
you failed to stop her and your failure has massively escalated the situation. She is about to go into labor. She must not deliver that baby on Egedege soil. She must die before that baby makes it into the world. Both of them must die. Yes, so John. What of Obike? I will use him as a sacrificial lamb to appease the entire legion of the brave. Go! 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 No problem now. Nah. Mama, very, 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 very. That's a woman's voice. It's clearly a woman's voice. And then she's, her voice sounds as if she's in a distress. In distress? Yes. Do you mean she can be in, uh, under attack by a white animal or something? No, 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 no. She's not been attacked. But I think, with my experience, I think she's. I am thinking otherwise to them. What be care you? Help! Help! <laughs> Oh, 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 my baby, my baby. strong force. Throwing me down. I felt it too. I don't know. Down. I don't know what it is. I felt it too. Hey, no matter whatever that force is, I'll kill this woman. No, no. No. She's still alive. She can't die. Let me check her pulse. Wait. Hey, she has a baby. Oh, she has a child. Oh. Let's go. Mama, no, no, let's no, go. no. Let me help her. I was attacked by... I saw what happened. Our mortal enemy is protecting them. We have lost the first phase of the war. The baby has been born on Egedege soil. Yes. I succeeded in killing the mother. I made the baby blind. But when I tried to take the midwife and her son off as well, our mortal enemy defended them. The midwife is Ebere, Obike's biological sister, the one that was saved alongside him and their mother 32 years ago. Are you saying that the baby is in the custody of her own aunt? That looks arranged, Ojonko. Our mortal enemy arranged all of it from day one. And again, the rain is just getting to know today. 
What is going on, Ojonko? Eh? Our mortal enemy took 32 years to prepare for the war he brought against us today. Everything you saw and heard about Obike and Ebere were no coincidences. They were all spiritually arranged for a purpose. That purpose will manifest fully if that baby survives and reaches the age of 15. Then she will attain a level of spirituality that will make her our nemesis. We can only spiritually manipulate them to abandon the baby voluntarily for it to be possible. That is the second phase of the battle and you must proceed now to prosecute before it is too late. Stretch forth your staff of middle heaven and receive the extra spiritual fortification you need to prevail. Are you out of your mind? in trouble now, Mama. How can you ask me to return the baby? You, you, you just picked there. I, 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 I you know the mother is now. dead. Mama, eh? the baby put us in trouble. Let's return this baby. Have to put you in trouble. How? Why you not the one that was telling me that we should take the baby home and take care of her? Mama, Why are you now changing? I've changed my mind. I have changed my mind. Mama, we have to return this baby. Mama, see if you don't return that baby, eh? I will put it to the police. What? Return that baby, Mama. See, I'm going. Return the baby. Return the baby. I've told you. Return the baby. You call the police on me? Do them. Fellow. A messenger from our mortal enemy. An angel? Her guardian angel, Ebere and her son, will keep her no matter what we do now. What if we manipulate the police and turn their people against them? We will still fail in the end. Her guardian angel will go to any length to ensure our utter failure. 
we have failed again in another phase of the battle. So, instead of wasting our time any further, it is time for us to plan and prepare for the war our mortal enemy has formally declared against us with her birth. Or at least survive it if and when it starts. At least survive it if and when it starts? With all the powers we possessed? Yes, by indirectly attacking her and whatever that will make life worth living for her with the sole aim of frustrating her into taking her own life before she attains the age of 15. But that is the only way we can stop her full spiritual power and destiny from manifesting and being unleashed against us by our mortal enemy. I am developing a plan already. Go home. I will inform you once I have concluded the plan. Go and despair not, for all hope is not completely lost yet. Go, loyal servant of the rain. Go! Go! Sarachi, Mama. Hey, Nemo. Hogany, where are you coming from? Eh? Hey. Hey, oh, come, let me help you. You quit now, you're beautiful. Eh? Where are you coming from? I went to Mazenes Palm Plantation to get palm materials for food making. I'm sorry I kept you this it, night. It, it, it's okay. You don't need to apologize. I'm just coming in now. Oh. Eh? Do you have to stretch yourself because of this broom? Eh? Did I tell you that the broom will stress my paws? I have money. We'll buy broom. You don't need to go all through this. The place is very far. What if you had fallen and hit your foot on the stone and get yourself injured? What would I have done? Um, eh? I know. Be gone. God ordered my footsteps safely back home. See, Mama, I told you not to worry. The blind has a God who sees for them and lead them faithfully in a world that is perpetually dark for them. Uh, hmm? Mama, you memorized another of my lines of faith. See, that's why I love you. <laughs> I love you too, Adamo. I love you so much. Hey, come, come and sit down. Oh, sit, sit. Let me lead you. Climb up. Sit, sit. Easy. Oh, sit here. Hmm. Hmm. <gasps> it's okay. Well, how was work? Fine. How are you? I'm very fine. Please don't leave home again, oh, Biko. No problem. Hmm? Hmm? Please, next time, don't go and stress yourself over things like this, Biko. Okay, oh? okay, I've heard. Um, Mama, please let's go inside before the smell of more in your handbag bust my throat. Hey, Kosarachi, you are this moi moi when you car for. Hey, Mama, she makes the best moi moi. Akwea, then how did you know I, I bought you my mai today? The aroma is unmistakable, Mama. Hey, you are such a special child. Thank you, Mama. You are my delightful angel. Aww. I love you so much, Onem. Now let's go inside so we can have your mai mai. Oh, you. Mm -hmm. Uh, leave the bag, let me carry don't it. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, I'll carry the bag. <laughs> because of Moi Moi. <laughs> okay, let's oh go inside. Hey, don't worry, I will take care of it. Huh? Uh, yeah. You see, huh? mm? see that's why if that you brought your money and you just wasted money in buying. See, we're almost done. We're almost, we're doing it. But I told you not to worry about next time. <coughs> don't see, go and stress yourself about this thing. Oh? Okay, no problem. Bye bye. Yes. Uh, Brother Nana. Um, how are you, Nana? 
Um, I brought back the hunting rifle I borrowed from Dubin. My own heart issue last week. Has your own been fixed? Uh, yes. I brought it back with uh, this bullet. Um, bullet? Bullet squad. Hey. I don't understand. Nana, what is going on? Mama Dubem, you paid me to hunt in Chi for Dubem to take back to the city. Whenever he comes back that he wants to spend the weekend with you people. Mm -hmm. I bought already bought the bullet. So I have changed my mind. Why? What are you talking about? What happened? I, I need to pay for my children's school fees. Very important. School fees? But Dubem has been the one paying for your children's school fees. Dubem paying for my children's school fees shouldn't be a priority even. Charity begins at home. He needs the naked truth from me and you. What naked truth are you talking about, Nana? Here you go again. Acting as if everything is okay. Mama Dubem, let me ask you. Dubem has been married for good seven years. Nothing to talk about. Not even a miscarriage. It's only a witch that can condone all this. Mama Dubem. Shut up, I'm talking. Mama Dubem, are you a witch? Brother Nana, please stop. Your words are hurting. Shut up! Let her prove to me that she's innocent by calling Dubem and his wife to order. Listen, let me tell you something. <sighs> Our people are already talking. And they are pointing accusing fingers at you. You better do something as a mother. Brother Nana, your words are like daggers. What to someone's back? <sighs> Who set you up for this? Shut up! How dare you accuse me of being someone's baby? Eh? Immortal boy. <sighs> Listen, I've said my own. You better do something, <sighs> baby witch. I don't deserve this harsh words from Nana. Mama, why is he talking to me like this? Mama, it's okay. Nana. Nana. How dare you? No, no, how dare you? How dare you go to my compound yesterday to vomit all that you vomited to my mother and consulate yesterday? How dare you? Huh? No, no. After everything I did for you, after all our years of friendship, you chose to rob my face on my face. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Seriously, I can't explain what came over me. I'm sorry. Look, that thing that came over you should get ready. Should get ready to go with you to police cell and suffer I, for two weeks. I, I, because I, as I live here, I, I am going to pay the police to arrest you. I will pay the police to torture you and starve you for two weeks. I, oh, you think you can carelessly like talk to my mother like that? Open your lousy mouth to talk anything and get away with it. You will not. You are not going to get away with it. I am going to deal with you. I will treat you like an enemy. Biko, what come? Biko, we are not lying. My husband does not know what came over him yesterday. He has been crying since yesterday. Please forgive us, Biko. What come, ma? I came on that day. I was on my way to the, uh, to Ishebele Forest to hunt. Uh, mysteriously, I didn't know what happened to me. I saw myself going to your house to vomit all the things I said to Kosarati and your mom. If you people are not cooking up what you are telling me, no. why haven't you, you in particular, hey. gone to my compound to apologize to my mother and Kosarati? Hey. Why haven't you? We were about going. Hey. We because of the fear of what your mother will yes. do for him. That is why we have not gone. Yes, sir. Please, Biko. Please. 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 Calm down, Biko. I'm sorry. You are my childhood friend. Because that my family is eating today is because of hey. you. Hey. That my children are in school today is because of you. 
<laughs> and when he opened, I said, I'm not dead, but it was the bit, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry. I said, it's okay, it's okay, please. <laughs> I said, it's okay. Stand up. Huh? It's okay. Please. I've been, I've been but must it be you? Huh? Why would you allow yourself to be used? I'm sorry. Makachi, it will not happen again. Hey, hey, hey we are sorry. Mama, I am sorry. I am sorry for all the names you've called. All the calls you rained on me. I accept it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you want to beat me, go ahead and beat me. Whatever you want to do to me, go ahead, please. But I must say I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. I didn't know what came over me. It wasn't intentional, please. I'm sorry, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my mother when I was 13 years old. And since then, you've been my mother. <laughs> Mama, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Even if you cannot forgive me, please. Forgive me for the sake of my wife and my children. <laughs> uh, Nana. Mama? I never cursed you. I did not insult you in any way. Rather, you were the one bringing insults on me. But the one that pained me most was when you insulted Kosarachi with her present condition. That one is beyond outrageous to me. Pray she forgives you. If she forgives you, then I've forgiven you too. Uh, please, where is Kosarachi, please? I need to see him. Don't worry, let me go and... She's uh, not in the house. Uh, where, where, where did she go? Uh, she went out uh, immediately you drove out. I don't know where she went. <sighs> okay. Nana, whatever apology you have to tender would have to wait until you get to meet with her. But you have to pray, oh. Pray that she forgives you. Because she's the one you hurt the most. You stabbed her in her heart. Just pray she forgives you. That's all I have to say. Uh, Mama, let me go and look for her. Uh, please, I'm coming with you. Bless you, Mama. God will bless you for me. It's nothing. God will bless you for me, Mama. You don't need to thank me too much. This thing is just more than that. <laughs> Mama, I'm so happy to hear from you again. Even before you knew the outcome of my husband's encounter with Kasarachi. <laughs> Kasarachi has always been a good girl, a wonderful girl like that. She has forgiven him already from her heart. She has forgiven him. You know she took after you. She emulated you, Mama. If it's virtue, you are gold itself. 
There's nobody in this village that doesn't admire and love you and Sarachi. Thank you. And to my children, she's like an elder sister to them. And the best for that matter. Oh my god. She's my husband's voice. Kosarachi! Eh? Hey! Hey! Dimo! I swear I You didn't do anything. I believe you, oh, I believe you. Oh, no. We rescued her from the hands of angry youths. They wanted to kill her. Is that true? Yes! She killed Edu Nana's son! I swear I didn't do anything! Shut up! What you have found in the bush with the dead body and the knife in your hand? I said still denying. Shut up! Shut up! You mean? She killed Nana's son? Yes! She killed Nana's son! Read the word! I didn't kill him! I swear I didn't kill him! I swear I didn't kill him! Okay. What nonsense? Now take her and remand her in custody. Okay, nice. Let me go and get the other. Come on, come on, go. Alice, 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 is there something for me to eat? I'm hungry. Alice, are you not the one I'm asking? Nana, so you're still looking for food? Nana, let me ask you, where is my son, Nedu? Where is our son, Nedu? Where is he? The people that killed our son are out there. And you are still asking for food, Nana. Nana, you better go out and avenge our son. Go and avenge the death of my son, Nana. By, by who is here? Nana. Ah, uh, no. You're welcome. Yeah. How uh, are you? This one, you're, you're in my house. I hope all is well. How can all be well when you petitioned the elders? I'm here on behalf of the elders. Uh -huh. um, no. Uh, have a seat, huh? okay. Sit down. Right. <sighs> so, what is the problem? No, you're born now. No, I'm not just happy. That girl killed my son. 
She stabbed my son with a knife that has been confirmed to be their kitchen knife. Dubai man now I caught her doing that. Now, that girl is a murderer and she must be killed. Let me ask you, where is the corpse of your son? Like I told you, Dubem left with the cops. As you know who of this community, my duty is to enforce the process of the custom and tradition that is prescribed in this situation. And our custom demand that if you kill anybody, once you kill somebody in this village, you must be banished or killed at the same time. Oh no, I don't understand what is happening. I don't know if my own is different. Well, that can only be possible if the corpse of the victim is found. Until the corpse is satisfied death, we cannot do anything. Are you serious? Yes, that is the custom and tradition of the community. Is that how you want to put it? No, is that how you want to put it? That is the cost. Is that how you want to put it? No, no problem. No, no problem, no problem. I've heard you, no problem.
You'll never leave me. You said you would not forsake me. Oh, I can't help you. You know, Marco, what am I going to do? Hell. You are safe, you know? Safe. Mama, it's not okay. It's not okay. The elders ordered I leave a job of community within seven days and stay banished for the rest of my life. What? <laughs> the man tell me it's not true. Tell me she's lying. Eh? Mama, she's not lying. It's true. Hey! Hey, what? F1 no more. The man, why? You came to the hospital with two elders this morning. They said they saw Nedu alive and they joined me in handing him over to his parents. And you cleared all his hospital bits. They were there. It, it, it all happened before them. Eh? They said when they, they go back to the, to, to, to the elders in council, that they will release this girl for me. What are they now saying? What has she done? What has she done to Bebu? What has she done to deserve the banishment? What has she done, done to me? Mama, they said that, that, that I committed an abomination by conspiring with you to take food, uh, water and new clothes to Kosarachi last night. Banished. And the punishment to this is that you and I will be banished from Majapa community for seven years, seven forfeiting years. all our properties, including this compound to the Hey, how can you see Ha! I don't Kosarachi! I had no other alternative. They said I should be banished and I chose to be banished. Ma, ma, ma. They cannot banish you from this community, Mba. No. Eh? Let them take everything. Let them take everything. Let them take the land, the house, everywhere. Our farm, everything we have. Let them take it in this community. You baby, you are rich. You have money to replace all these things. Did you not tell her that to the baby? Mama, hey! I have told her all that and even more. But she stuck to her gun. You stuck to your gun? Makagini! Mama, I didn't despair you and brother to pay me to the relation. Mba no eh? Mama, you and brother to pay me have done so much in my life since I was born. Brother to pay me inheritance is not something to be tampered with, Mama. Uh -uh. You've not done anything in them. You, you're innocent. You're just innocent in them. You've not done anything. Hey! I'm one of more. Hey! I'm a suitcase. Hey! I'm talking about the baby are looking at me. What are we going to do? Mama, it is too so much for us to survive. No, no, this guy cannot survive. No! Hey, what? Mama, 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 hey! No, no, no! no. no. No, I can't let you go. You can't go away from me. You no, didn't no. do anything. Uh, you are innocent. Uh, you are innocent. Uh, oh, she got out. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Oh. Baby. Hi, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> mm. I missed you. And I was so scared for you, for Mama and Kosarachi. I know, and that was the reason I kept everything that happened away from you. I don't get it. You mean there are more stuff that happened than all the scary stuff you already told me? Yes, my love, don't worry. I'll, I'll feed you inside. Um, Jane! Ah! What's that? Uh, Allah, the sleeping does lie. Are you stupid? Did you, do you know who he is? I'm, I'm sorry, ma. Then answer him this minute. So the problem is, I don't know what is uh, going on under my, my main auditorium. <laughs> I don't know what that bit is. It's like he's scratching. Shut me. up! <laughs> Shut up! Compound fool! He told you to let the sleeping dog lie. And you insisted. Now it has woken up. No, Why are you complaining? This guy is just stupid. He's very annoying. It's okay. Get my bag. Okay. No, no, no. I'll get it myself, okay? I don't want this fool doing anything. If I hear one word, I'm sorry, ma. Idiot. James! Ma? Get the bags. Sir, ma, I thought you said you were getting the bags. Get the bags! I, I, I'm sorry, ma. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. Good God, how could the elders contemplate on such punishment for you and Mama? Oh, as shocked as you are. Shocked only though. Because we absolutely do not have a reason to regret whatever we did. I mean, if I didn't do what I did last night, Kosorachi would have lost her life to pneumonia before daybreak. Nana and his wife would have wasted her with their wickedness. The poor girl would have just died of great cold. And I'm sure that was their plan. Um. But babe, in as much as I support what you and Mama did, I'm also putting myself in Nana and his wife's shoes. And I keep asking myself in my mind, what could I have done in such circumstance? What are you talking about? Huh? What are you talking about? You think should justify them for going to that wicked extent? without caring where their son was, or what had really become of him. Come on, that should be the most important thing to every parent out there. Saving their dying son's life or revenge of that extreme nature. Well, to that extent though, they really went too far. And Kosarachi's decision was a very difficult one. I admire the poor girl's um, guts to take such decision despite her disability. Family is everything. You gave me family and I gave up my comfort zone for you. That's no big deal to me. Those were her exact words to Mama and I while we were worrying off our heads for her earlier today. She said that. Thank God she has another home away from our village with familiar people who will make the change of environment more easier for her. You are not referring to this house and us, are you? <laughs> Come on, honey. We are family. Myself, Mama, and you are the only family Kosaraji have caught. You and Mama, no one else. What do you mean? Um, let me get you lunch. Someone calling me at the 
this time of the night. Hello, Mama? Yes, I got home safely. I called you as soon as I arrived. Why are you calling me to ask me the same question over again? She's fine. What my wife said concerning um, Kosurai joining us. Um, well, I, I have not really had time to discuss it with her, but I think I will. Mama, don't bother yourself. Kosurai have um, seven days left with you. Just enjoy the rest of the days with her while I tidy up things over here. Yes, she's fine and sleeping. She will hear. Best of the night to you. I must send her regards to you. You lied to her. Your silence ever since I told you that Kosarachi will be joining us here left me with no other choice. That girl is blind. Can't you see? And she'll obviously come with peculiar challenges I'm not used to. You and I know that I'll be the only one to bear the consequences that comes with Kosarachi coming to this house and no one else. Did you put all this into consideration when you were making plans in the beginning without involving me? Well, I'm sorry. Isn't it obvious that she has no other place to go apart from here? There are facilities run by the government agencies and NGOs that can cater for her needs. Well, um, you are beginning to take whatever it is that you're saying further than I can allow you. So, so in essence, you want me to shut up? It means you should start thinking like family. I mean, your sister joined us immediately we got married. Have I ever complained? My biological sister. And she is not blind. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> Do you want to wake up the devil in me? Chizzy, shut up. Shut up! Now go back to sleep. And don't you ever bring up this ever again. Didn't I tell you when we woke up that I'll be leaving for the hospital earlier than usual I because... I know what you said. Okay, so why is the dining empty? Where's my breakfast? Uh, there is none. I'm not in the mood. Are you sure you're ready for what you're starting? Dubin, please, I am not in for your threats and your screams this morning, okay? I am not in. I mean, it's early. Ah, please, I'll be in the room. Should I just come here, Dubin? So this is how Tonya wants to pay me back for all the love and care I've shown her. This is how you want me feel like a fool for seeing and treating your own family members as mine all along. The love and acceptance my mother and Kusarachi extended to you since they met you. This is how you want to pay them back. Okay, there is no problem. 
Hello, Tonya. I want you to leave whatever you're doing on campus. Get to the house, pack whatever personal belongings you have there, and leave today. I am not the one asking you out of the house. Your sister is. So keep whatever question you have for her when you get to the house. Hey, hey, who is that? James! Hey, I said it. All this are not this. All this are not this. What the fuck? All this. James! Hey, hey, who is that? Tanya! Oh! Sorry! Uh. Open this gate! Sorry, sorry. Are sorry. you mad? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Are, are you silly? Why are you wasting time to, to open the gate for me? Why are you wasting time? It's, it's my fault. I was inside my bathroom. I was bathing. I didn't hear. Because you know, this time around, my robbers are very, very serious. So when they are knocking your gate, you have to, you know, watch who's coming before. That's why I, I was trying. You're to... very, very stupid. Huh? Why are you boiling this afternoon? What is it? Huh? What happened? You happened! It's yours. Why has, has Mike Tyson beaten you up again? Eh? Sorry? I said, has Mike Tyson beaten you up again? What did you just say? I said, has Mike Tyson... How dare you insult me? Are you even repeating it? Are you stupid? How dare you insult me? You, 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 you moron. You, 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 you spare my, you spare my a mistake. Oh. It's yours. We be warning you. We be warning you. Take that. Tonya, stop it. Since he just insulted me. He just insulted me. Don't you think you're busy hunting for rats when your house is on fire? Yes, this is just just, insulting. just let him be. Come inside. Tonya, can you please leave the fool? I will deal with you. Let I him be. Deal with you. Nonsense. Let him be. Since he just, he, he just insulted Let's go me. Go inside the house. One use the HID. Uh, uh, this boy will be beat you. This boy will beat you. He will beat you. He will still follow this guy. He will beat you. He will still follow. Now you are. I want you. I want you. Come and beat me. Leave this boy. This, leave this boy. I don't want to leave this boy. I want you. I want you. Come and beat me now. Sis, what, 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 what is going on? Eh? What is going on? James has never boldly insulted me the way he did out there. And your husband asked me to move out of his house and also ordered James to insult me, right? Tonya, don't be silly. Dubim did not tell James to do anything. How did you know? How did you know that? Because according to you, he has not picked your call nor replied your messages ever since I told you what he said to me. Oh, 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 did he tell you it was a mistake? Did he say I can stay? Sis, talk to me. You he has see... not taken my calls too. I even went to the hospital to see him, but he refused to let me in. What? 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 What manner of quarrel did you people have that? Tonya, <laughs> please, we don't have time for too much talk now, please. So, I, I should just go in and start packing my things? Is that it? Tonya. All I need you to do now is to call Dubin with your phone and see if it peaks. Okay? Okay. Put it on speaker. It's ringing. Have you done as I said, Tonya? Dubin, how could you be so silly? How dare you treat my sister like a piece of shit? Are you trying to get back at me? Showing you that the games of love, hate, tolerance, Rejection and selfishness are games anyone can play. Yes, they are all two can play games. And here we go. Dubin, you are so... I've decided to take Kosarachi elsewhere as you wanted. Send your sister away as I wanted to. From now on, this marriage is strictly between me and you. And any day I meet anyone from your side, including your friends in my house, consider our marriage over. And that starts when I return from work today. Are you threatening me with a divorce? Really? No, I'm threatening the stranger you became to me when you refused to see my sister as part of us. Dubim, Dubim, listen. Listen, 
You know I do not have any work. There's no way I can get money to train Tonya. You know this. Right question to the wrong person, my dear. Your family's business is no longer Dubem's business. And please, I am busy. No. This cannot be happening. God, 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 God. This is not happening. This is not happening to me. This is not happening. Sis. Yes. What exactly did you do to his sister that turned your sweet, loving husband to the stranger I just listened to? I, I don't want to drop out of school. I don't. Please calm down. You are not going to drop out of school. But he just said that. I... Calm down. Calm down. Wait. Sit down. Sit down. There is something I need to tell you. Please just sit. Okay. Um, Tonya. Um, you know. Um. Before I got married to Dubin seven years ago, we had already broken up six months earlier. In fact, he was already engaged to a lady that was two months pregnant for him. So, how did you now end up with him as his wife? How? Um, um, the, um, as a wife, priestess of Ujunku in our village, Mama took me to her to help manipulate the bin to chase the other lady out and get married to me. What? How can you and Mama go to that extent of being evil? How? Antonia, please just stop. Don't judge us now. How can you say that? Didn't you see everything that was happening at the time? Papa was dead. Mama had no job. My, my, my banking job that I was doing at the time was not even helping. I had to cater for you, I had to cater for the entire family, and cater for myself as well. What did you expect? The guy I was dating at the time was, was just lovable. Of course, I loved him so much, but he was not good at anything financially. Dubaim, on the other hand, I didn't love him that much, but he had all the money I needed. So I had to use my both hands to, to, to grab the opportunity. So, in, in other words, whatever you and Mama must have done has expired, right? I don't think that is the case. Um, Mama told me two years before she died that there's an agreement she had with Ezawai that involves you and I. Me? God forbid! Did you say me? Yes! No. Yes! What is wrong with you? Eh? Do you want to leave this house? Do you want to be a school dropout? Is that what you want? Is that what you want? No. No. Then you just have to calm down. M Mama told me that um, seven years into my marriage, I would get to know about this agreement. And this is the seventh year I am the babe's wife. So, so... What are you trying to say? We have to proceed to the village. I am the force that took him to the forest. I am the hand that stabbed Nedu. Nanasa. What? So, Kosarachi was not telling lies when she said she wasn't the one who stabbed that boy? Everything that happened in the village in the past few days happened for one purpose. And that purpose is to bring Kosarachi to your house and leave her at our mercy. Our Ojoku had a binding agreement with your late mother seven years ago. And that agreement made you, your sister and I, a team, bound in spirit and body in the service of the realm. Me? You are the one chosen by the masters of the realm as my successor. I reject it. 
reject the only way the masters of the realm will leave you and choose another is when this task is successfully carried out. Frustrate Kosarachi into taking her own life. Or alternatively, make her lose her virginity. Both must happen within six months. It isn't one but it's Ojonko is in possession of your womb. According to the agreement we had with your late mother. And the only way to return your womb is when this task is successfully carried out. Failure to do so will result into full-blown madness for the rest of your life. But is it why? With all the power you and Ojon could possess or, or, or control, why don't you just kill Kosarachi or manipulate some criminals into kidnapping and raping her? If you wanted either of that to happen to her so desperately, don't, can't you just do it? Any attempt to take her life will backfire on those behind it. Like I said before, you have six months to carry out this assignment. Nothing more. Nothing less. Calm down. Let's get to the car. Pause now. Let's get to the car. No. I can't do it. I cannot do it, sis. I cannot become a local priestess to some damn Pull yourself together, Tonya, please. We are close to a Gedege village and someone from our village might even hear us. Eh? I don't care. Do I look like I care? I don't care. Let them hear us. Since you and Mama did not put my feelings and future into considerations till you had a deal with the devil on my behalf, I don't care. Tony, I told you. I told you that I only got to know about this deal from Mama two years ago. I'm just like you. I'm getting to know the details from S and Y today. And you think this silly explanation takes away the responsibility of this wickedness to me away from you? It doesn't! It doesn't! I'm sorry. I don't need your apology! I don't need your apology, so keep it! The only thing I want to hear from you is a way out of this mess you and Mama created for me! Tonya, you heard the S and Y back then. I don't she... care! Whatever she said is not my business, it's hers! So please do not remind me before I set us ablaze here! Did you see any factory or workshop in that coven? Did you? Tonya, Let stop. me remind you in case you have forgotten. I am studying engineering. I am studying you to practice it. So I can become useful to myself and to humanity. And not to end up like some local priestess to some Tonya, damn god. There is a way out. It's the only way out is for us to become human devils to that innocent blind girl. The only thought of it makes me cringe in disgust. Are you okay with that? Are you? The alternative is you ending up as something you are so scared of becoming. And then me? As a raving mad woman. Now tell me, Tonya. If you refuse to become the priestess of Ojunku, you will end up as a raving mad engineer naked around the street. Which option do you choose? Tell me! Which is better? Do you have a plan? Do you? I don't have any plan now, but I don't know. I have no choice. I have to go and get Kosarachi to come to our house. Yes, everything that's on my mind now is just to go to the Bain's village and bring her back. I cannot go to the city without Kosarachi. Are you coming with me or not? Do I have a choice? Let's go to the car, please. That way, that. I can't say my wife's kind in this compound. Where did she say she was going to? Mm. 
What a bombshell. Hmm. Sir, as I'm talking to you, your wife is on her way to a campus. She's going to beat Mike Tyson. I don't understand. What do you mean? Hmm. <laughs> oh, sure come. Sir, Tonya's boyfriend in campus has beaten Tonya. And I'm telling you, if you see the way... Like, hey, 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 stop hey. it. I'm telling you, sir. That guy is very, very picky. He has damaged Tonya. So they are on their way. They are going to beat him. Are you done? <laughs> Thank you for that. I'm not done, sir. I'm not done. Sir, I'm not a small boy. Sir, if you look at me from top to toe, I'm not a small boy. I'm a 70 years old man. I'm not a small boy. Tonya came here. Tonya is talking to me anyhow. Sir, Tonya doesn't pay me. You pay me. So Tonya doesn't, cannot come here or come and stretch her hand on me like that. It's very, very disrespectful. I don't, I don't like that. Tonya will be talking to me now. Hey, 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 I'm closer. More closer. I'm closer, sir. Do you know what shut up means? I'm sorry, sir. Do you know what shut up means? Sir, just come again. I said, do you know what shut up means? Oh, okay. Oh, sir. Yes, sir. I know, sir. Then shut up permanently. Get out of my sight. Oh. Get out! Yes, sir. Where are you? I'm in the village. Not mine, yours. I actually just drove down with Tonya into your compound. Yes. I had a long thought and about everything and I realized how silly I was for opposing your decision for Kosarachi coming to our house. I'm, I'm, I was really wrong. I shouldn't have said all those things I said last night and even this morning. Because Haraji is our family, no matter how anyone wants to see it. And you, you've been really a great person to me, to my family, to everyone. You've really shown us great love and care. And I truly love your family a lot. Including Kosarachi. Yes, so I had to drive to the village to bring her back. And I promise you, I promise you that I'm going to show Kosarachi all the love and care she deserves. Even with her predicaments, I am ready to show her every love she deserves. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Whoever said that women are the weaker vessels made a huge mistake. Because when it comes to family politics, they are not just stronger than men. They are more strategic and they are great masters of the act of soft power. Thank God for letting wisdom prevail on my wife's side. Thank you for saving my marriage. Father, Lord, I am so, I am so, so, so grateful. Huh? Huh? <laughs> oh, <laughs> we don't go, sir. It's like the way you are smiling. <laughs> Madame Antonia has won the fight. <laughs> oh, we thank you, Lord. <laughs> James. Sir? Listen, if you produce one more word from your mouth again, you will zip this gate. Did you hear me? Yes, sir. Now turn around and go. Yeah, well, I said turn around! Uh, sir. You're going? I'm going, sir. You're going. <laughs> Mama! Ah, How are you? I'm fine, Hello. Mama. Hello. Oh, my hey, wife. Hey, Mama, hey, mm, hey. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, it's with you. Mama is Dele okay. Kikari. Please come, let's hey. Hey. Mama, hey. Oh, my hey. Mama. Hey. Mama, welcome. Hey. Oh. My in-law. Eh? Ever smiling in-law. 
Hi. 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 Exercising and sweating. Ma? What is it? Ma, you're welcome. Ma, I'm trying to get fit. Yeah, I'm trying to get fit. I'm exercising. I remember my days in the barracks. I'm in training, sir. Ma. I'm in training. I'm getting my Davido bags back. Oh, yeah. Okay, what exactly are you talking about? Oh, yeah. See, the last time, the last time they came here to threaten me, to point finger at me. Never. Anybody who will come this day to chat to me, I will say, hey, 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 <laughs> the person go here. <laughs> My baby, it is worth laughing at. <laughs> so, James, Ma? you're training because of my sister here. <laughs> what a bomb, sir. Yes. Thank God that they are standing here. They can see my David packs. They are chatting now. When they were chatting me yesterday, they thought I was a small boy. I will show them any any brass down. I will show them. Yes. <laughs> Save your garden. Auntie. Yes. Who is he? My darling, he is our new gate man. Did you say gate man? Oh, they clown that man's the gate for his salary and he retains everyone for free. You, I will deal with you, yeah. idiot. Look at him. <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't... This was a nice one. You see all this, this idiot? This clown! He, he, he accused me of, of driving the last gate man away with my bite. How can he say such, such lies to my face? This, this stupid, stupid idiot! I don't blame you. Why are you giving that eye? Stop staring at me! Stop staring at me! Sir, the thing is, it's a lie. I didn't say that. But I assumed that all this in boiling, boiling, and all this is talking, talking, and threatening hands, threatening people. I'm sure that the last gateman who was here, she did that to the gateman. That's why the gateman went. Did you, did you hear that? I'm protecting myself. So you're getting serious with me? I don't know. Look at the person you're calling. Please come. Welcome. Tony, leave this clown. You should know that he's a clown. Just me and you in this house. Me and you in this house. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Kosara, my baby. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> don't worry. We're in the living room already. Okay. All right, have your seat here. Yeah. <clears throat> Aha. So, Kosara, you are welcome to our home, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, brother. <sighs> the same pleasant, lovely, and positive energy 
I feel anytime I'm around you. Oh, thank you so much. And remember, you are now a full member of this family. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay? <laughs> God bless your stay. Thank you so much, Auntie Cheesy, for accepting me wholeheartedly. Thank you, Tante Tonya, for accompanying Auntie Chisi to the village to bring me. Mm -hmm. It means so much to me. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. And the gate man, he's such a funny man, filled with good, full spirit. I believe I'm going to have so much moments of laughter while missing Mama badly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't mind James, he's such a silly Auntie. Seems like you take him too serious. Thank you so much for that observation. Thank you. And please, louder. <laughs> Increase the volume. Well, see. Uh, there is nothing to add, um, Tonya. Uh, you seem to be taking James too seriously. Look, if you stop, you will laugh more. Okay? Yes. <laughs> see, sometimes he pisses your sister and I off and... Um, but it's nothing to be compared to the moment he gives us laughter exactly. with his yes. characters. Yes. 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 <laughs> so, um, having said that, I want you all to follow me to the mm -hmm. um, second visitor's room. I have something to show you. Something to show us? What is that? Honey, I said something to show you, not something to tell you. So, come. Okay. Come, come, come. Come on, I'm ready. Right by your side. Excuse us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, I'm here. Okay. There's a door. Yes. <clears throat> yes, here we are. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's right, you. This is going to be your room from today. <laughs> wow. Seeing it in the eyes of Auntie Chizia and Auntie Tonya, I really feel like an angel. Oh yes, you have always been the angel of the house. We love you. Thank yes. you, brother. Okay. Thank you so much. Yes, it's you. Catch you. Mm. Oh, it's Actually, three. <laughs> <laughs> Carry them. Wow. Thank you so this much. Is nice. Yes, it's nice. Uh, especially made for us, <laughs> I bought you a new bed. Oh, this for me? Yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, brother. Yes. Can I please speak with Mama on your phone to tell her about all this? Oh, yes. Um, honey, yeah, you guys sure. can go ahead and freshen up. Yes, I'm coming. <laughs> okay. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Sit. Uh, don't worry. You're going to enjoy your stay, okay? Sis, did you see that? My dear, I did not expect less. I mean, he has been fond of her, they grew up together, they do everything together, so <laughs> he does the extraordinary for her. That's not my drive. My drive is how do we successfully do what Isinwa asked us to do when your husband literally worships her? How? Sis, that is not a problem. My math teacher used to tell me then that every problem has a solution. All we need is critical thinking and planning. And remember, we have only six months to execute this plan. Hmm. Hmm. I don't want to end up as a priestess. I don't want to run mad though. It, it will not fit me. Look at me. That is not happening. You are not going to be Ujunku's next priestess, okay? Calm down and trust me. I promise you with everything in me. That room is fine. It's finer than my own room. It's finer. Are you now talking about the room? Really? Tonya. So you're going to clean everywhere, sparkling clean. Okay? You clean the chairs, the figurines, um, the TV, my frames, everywhere. I want them to be dazzling clean. All right? Okay, so this is the dry napkin use it and clean some other places and please this wet one this semi wet one do not use it to clean my tv and glasses okay mm -hmm. i want everywhere so clean and please be careful i do not want you to break anything all right good no problem i won't break anything 
I used to help Mama with all the chores in the village. But although it took me years to master everywhere in the house. Auntie, please, allow me to master my way around the house so that I... I, 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 I calm down. When I woke you up in the morning, I told you that I'm following my husband's instruction. I told you he asked me to tell you to do these chores because he considers idling about a taboo in this house. I told you this. And this will continue every day as early as 6 a.m. every morning. Do I make myself clear? Mm. Remember, do not break anything. And if there's anything you need to master, you can do it while you're cleaning up. All right? Okay. Good. And see, did I upset you? You, you sound annoyed. I sound annoyed. Are you okay? Please, I need to prepare my husband's breakfast, all right? Remember, do not break anything. They cost a lot. If you break anything, Kosarachi, I'm not in for arguments, okay? Don't worry, I won't break anything. The God of the blind is the God that sees for the blind. Um, don't worry. Whatever. Kosarachi, what are you doing? Oh, stand up. Thank you, brother. Um, I fell an object down while I was trying to master my way around the room when performing the chores. Performing chores? Who sent you? Ah, babe, what happened? I heard you calling Kosarachi's name. Are you okay? Kosarachi, are you okay? What happened? Uh, it's nothing. I just tripped while I was trying to perform the chores. Oh my god! I'm so sorry! Did you hurt yourself? Huh? Did you hurt yourself? No. Ah, thank god. I'm sorry. What's actually what is the problem? I told you that you should relax and master every way. For at least three months, but you would not agree. Babe, I told her. I told her to not do all these things. She said no, that she's feeling bored, that she wants to do it, that she just let her, okay, she kept on whining. That she just please let her to do her room and the living room. What did you expect me to do after she's part of this family? I had to. Now look at. Um, Brother Dubem, is that Auntie Chase's voice or another person's voice that sounds like her? It's her. Why do you ask? Um, oh, please. Please. Don't say a word. Answer me. It's okay, let me just perform the German in church. No, 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 no. It's no chance for you. In fact, there is no chance for you in this house. Yes. But brother... There is no point to argue about this, Kosaraji. Aside your condition, you are not here to do any chance for me. Yes. Do you hear me? Now, honey, I'm saying this to you. You are the one that told me that you do not need uh, uh, help. Yeah, I do not. That you can handle the house yourself. Yes. And you have been doing that perfectly well ever since Tonya got admission to the university, right? Mm -hmm. So, Tonya is around. Why is she not the one doing the chores like I met Kosarachi doing? Um, huh? Um, babe, I'm, I'm so sorry. It's just that Tonya left early. She has 8 a.m. quiz to write, so I, I had to let her. Huh? Please forgive me. I'm so sorry. I want her. But I promise you that this will never repeat itself. I'm so sorry, babe. You don't have to do this. You don't. Okay? All right, I'll take you to your room now, okay? And then when I'm done taking you there, I'll prepare your brother's breakfast. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Kasarachi, hmm? are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. She's fine. All right, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry. No, 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 it's fine, darling. I'm so sorry. I'm still with you here. And you're a baby. You don't need to do chores like this. Come here. Come, come here. Stupid girl. Are you mad? Hey? Auntie Cheesy, you lied to your husband and you. Shut up your mouth. If I pluck out your tongue. Now sit down here and if I hear you utter one word, I'll kill you. Do not leave this room. Stupid. God, this is not the anti cheesy I used to know.
I am in your presence, so bless me now. I am in your presence, so bless me now. I am in your presence, so bless me now. I am in your presence. Hey. Whoa, James. <laughs> Sir? My car is looking very neat. Thank you. How are you? Sir? <laughs> the Lord I serve did not allow the devil to succeed. I'm telling you. What a bombshell. <laughs> uh, God did not allow the devil to succeed. What happened? Hmm. Sir, I had a bad dream. Today, they can't buy a dream I had. Really? I'm telling you. It was so bad that even if you put inside market, it will not sell. Was it that bad? I'm telling you, it was that bad, sir. It was that bad. So in my dream, guess what? I was cooking. <laughs> I was cooking orphan salad and apple. <laughs> <laughs> my love. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, are you ready for James coming around this morning? You see, sometimes I, I just can't ignore him. He's very funny. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> James. Sir. Listen, just post this story, okay? No, no. When I come back. Sir, I, I can't post it all. Why? <laughs> I can't post it because the remote control that I will use to post <laughs> is sports. So I was thinking if you gave me some small <laughs> coins for the boys. <laughs> okay, now you finally landed at your point, right? <laughs> Madam will give to you, baby, come. Madam will give to me? Yeah. <laughs> Open the gate. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, baby. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay. Okay. You too. Bye. 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 <laughs> ah, sir. Ah, you, you can come back. <laughs> oh, wow. Good day. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. <laughs> Good day. Oga was saying that you give me some coins, coins for the boys. What? Oga was saying you, you will be giving me some coins to buy the remote. Okay, take it from Tony. S sorry, ma. Who, who? I can see that you're sick in the head. <laughs> you are the reason why I am singing Jehovah. You are the most I got. You are the reason why I am. Auntie Cheesy, is that you? And who is the second person with you? Because I know it's not brother to be him. Come on, will you shut up? I'm not ready for your verbal for me this time, okay? One word and I'll strangle you. Auntie Cheesy, if the person speaking with your voice is really you, please, I beg of you. If there's anything that I've said or done, Auntie, please forgive me. I'm truly sorry. Please forgive me. Sis, we have more important things to do here than listen to this blind baby witch. Let's do it and get out of here. Auntie huh? Tonia, I'm blind, yes, but I'm not a witch. Osi? Auntie Cheesy. I thought you told Brother Dubemi that Auntie Tonya went to campus very early this morning. She did not go anywhere. She is here with us. Idiot. Now listen to me. This... You can perceive it. This is Cameroon Pepe. This one is cement. Touch it. They are all in plates. This... Is insecticide. And this one is rat poison. So now, if you fail to do as we demand of you, and then if you go as far as telling anyone whatever we do to you in this house, I will force this Cameroon Pepe inside this your blind eyes 
and half of it inside your womanhood. Do I make myself clear? Eh? Yes, ma'am. Fool. And after that, if you try to mess up again, you will have no choice than to choose from either of these to kill you. Uh, sis, are we going with them? Let's show us more. Don't worry, she has said us. Okay. You think we are joking, yeah? Welcome. You think we are joking? Idiots. James. James. Ma, open the gate. Oh. Em. Em. Ma. Yeah? Okay, ma, ma please ex excuse me. I want em. Tonya. <laughs> oh, beautiful angel. <laughs> I never gonna say goodbye. I never gonna say What is it? Ma. ma. I, I'm trying to tell uh, Tonya that, uh, Tonya, I, I'm sorry, okay? Hmm. I'm very, very sorry, you know? Whatever I did, I was wrong. I, I, <laughs> please, for, forgive me. You know you're a beautiful girl, eh? <laughs> you're my wife, Matilda. You know, I, I like you. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. James, this is a very matured act you just displayed. Um, Tonya, my dear sister, you've heard him, okay? Can you please forgive him? Get up. I forgive you. You, you forgive <laughs> what, what, what a mom said. Present! 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 I'm mad you <laughs> Okay, so Ma, you, you guys are going. Yes, um, um, one more thing, James. Ma? I am leaving now. And I do not want you to allow that girl inside there to come out. No problem. I don't even want her out of the door. Talk more of out of this compound. Do I make myself clear? C clear, ma. Good. I understand. Hey, 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 Tonya, 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 you know, <laughs> Tonya, calm down. I know I've been begging you for that money now, eh? I hope now you are forgiving me. I'd rather use that money to cure you. Money. wrong with you eh? this guy I called is the best person for this plan it's not the guy I'm nervous about it's the entire plan that's only a plan B and for crying out loud our lives our future our sanity everything is at stake so please them the the, the conscience talk please yeah. yes Hi. 
The envelope contains the picture of his mother and him. I will send you half of your one million naira when I get the details. Sure, you will get it. And the other stuff? Hey, a gun? What do you need a gun for? For any eventuality that might occur and Terry would not be able to handle it or might come rather too late. I don't like leaving my flanks open. Mm. The Amazon spirit still lives in you. Something woke it up where I laid it to sleep 11 years ago after campus. Um, no, you have to be very careful because the world has changed a lot in the last 11 years. <laughs> sure I will. You can call me up if you need further clarification. Sure. Please just stop all these questions. Let me take you to school. And then I will go back and meet Kostarachi and feed her with the bread of sorrow that I baked properly for her and is ready for her consumption. Mm. I just don't know what people want in this world. Pick it people all over. Pick it people all over. Baby, I'm a long living thing. See, 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 see. <laughs> yeah, it's a fine girl. You go follow man. Fine girl. You follow man now. See, they don't see you. Mm. problems with you. You are growing up. You are a nice girl. You are growing up. I don't want to have any problems with you. Do you understand? So please, just let's go back inside. Huh? Please, 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 please. See, because Madam said I shouldn't allow you go out. Let's go inside. Okay, you, you want to go and see your boyfriend, Abby? You want to go and see your boyfriend? You want to scrape some gardens and burn some bush? See, see, I don't want to, I don't want to have any problem with you. Let's go. Uh, 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 Uncle James, please, I'm thanking you, please. Uh, Chief, yeah. please. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I know it's easy. Calm down, calm down. I know you are hungry. Eh? There's more uh, buying all those uh, food. I'll cook some for you. Eh? No one is at home. Today I will entertain you. Please, eh? no, please, I'm thanking you, please. Uncle James, please, now. See, no, 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 I don't like that. Too. I don't, I don't, I don't want stubborn guests. Too. They said I shouldn't let you go out. Let's go. You, you don't worry. I'll cook you. Please, please. Huh? Please, I'm begging you, please. Oh, what, 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 what a bombshell. Please, don't worry, eh? You can't go out. Madame said I shouldn't let you go out. Hmm? So you let's go inside, eh? I'll play you Black Sheriff in the second sermon. Hmm? Don't worry, eh? Just leave. Oh, stop. stop. I don't like that. Oh. Ah, ah, ah. Good James.
gate open. James! What is this? James! 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 Uh, Get up! Uh, ma? Why is this gate open? Oh, it's, it's open. It's, uh, and why are you lying down here? What's happening? Why did you leave the gate open? Uh, ma, it's, uh, it's called Kosrachi. Kosrachi, uh, I, 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 I was here. I was, uh, Kosrachi was coming. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. was coming and I was there, ma. I was there. So as I, I, I blocked her. I blocked her, ma. And I was telling her that you, you said I shouldn't let her go yes. out. Uh -huh. so, so as she, she was going, she was assisting to go out. I said, no, you can't go out. Madam said I shouldn't let you go out. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. So what happened? What happened? What happened? Uh -huh. So and and and, and I, I still Why was. Why is this place open? Uh -huh. Why is the door open? That's what I was saying. Is that she, she wanted to go out? And then I... what happened? Where is she? Ma, I didn't say anything again. I didn't say anything again. I don't understand. Why is the gate open and where is Kosarachi? Ma, I, I, as I was saying. Because I was coming and I said she can't go out. Oh. Before I know, I didn't see anything. James, did she go out? Did she go anywhere? She wanted to go out. Oh my God, you're a big fool. Did she go anywhere? Ma, I didn't see anything again. Jesus Christ, James, I told you not to let that idiot go out. And you let her. How could you? Huh? How could you? Now open this gate. Ma. Ladies first. I told you that you can't go out. You can't go out. Now see how I've come. Oh! <laughs> Get down. Down! Get down! Get down! Fool! Now move. Move! Stupid girl, you want to run away, right? You think you're smarter than I am? Come! Come in. Take my bag and take your bag. I don't want to see you out again. Do you hear me? Take my bag! James, Ma? come here, come here. Hey, hey, Shh. hey, hey, shut up, mm. shut up, mom, up. Listen to me, this gun is not for you. But if I hear a word hey. about what just happened to my husband, mm. I will not hesitate to blow your head out. Do I make myself clear? Yes, and listen to me, James. Oh. I will start from your legs, hey. to your hands, to your stomach, everywhere, before I blow out your head. Do I make myself clear? Yeah. Good. James. Ma. One word. Not a word. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. of them. It's a privilege and honor. So I will do whatever it is you want me to do with this, with this smiling face. So, what if I tell you that they are both dead? Then I 
will do everything possible to join them. Suicide? If, if that's the only option, then yes. Why, if I may ask? Because you'd be the only family member I had left. And after what you've done to me today alone, I see no life, no present, no future without them. Death is a far better option than life with you. Sorry if you see that as an insult. No, 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 my darling. I am not angry at all. In fact, I am rather happy because this is exactly what I've been expecting to hear. <laughs> For your information, this gun, this gun is not for you. It is for Mama and Dubin. I've actually waved off every option that has to do with the acid, the raw cement, the rat poison, the dry pepper, all those things are all waved off. And if you ever disobey me, or go as far as doing what you did today, or even try to tell Mama, or Dubim, or anyone outside this house what I've done to you, or what I am yet to do to you. <laughs> I will kill Mama and Dubim. Auntie Jizzy, please. Please don't kill them for me. Their lives in your hands, Osarachi. Do as I said, and they leave. Up! Get up! Why are you doing this? Why are you covering your mouth? Sir, I'm covering my mouth to save my life and my next generation. What a bomb, sir. You're covering your mouth to save your life and your next generation. Yes, what sir. happened? Uh, please, sir. I don't, I, don't want to, I don't want to talk. Because before you know, Taliban's go enter Kapoor now. Please, I don't want any trouble, sir. The annoying thing sometimes is that you don't know when to crack all these jokes. Talibans in my house in Nigeria. What happened, my friend? Speak up. Sir, I, I, I beg you. If you love me, please, sir, don't put my mouth into temptation. Because before you know, I will just die. Before you know, they will just buy obituary. Gone too soon. Gone down by unknown gunmen. Unknown, no. I don't want to die. Mm. I'm just saving my life. Don't want to talk. Before you go, no, I will talk. They will just. <laughs> oh. It's my laptop bag. Oh, it's in the living room. I could get it for you. Okay. Oh, the song. What a song. <laughs> yes, you know our Kosarachi has an angelic voice. <laughs> yes, she does, but there is a stinge of pain in her voice. Well, babe, what do you expect? For an adolescent who passed through what she experienced a few days ago? <laughs> it's expected, babe. But it's fine, she'll come around. I need to speak with her. No, 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 babe, you don't have to. At this point, she needs to heal and she needs to do this in her own privacy. No. You need to shower and take your supper, okay? Listen, darling, she should be healing in my house and in our company. So I need to talk to her. 
No, at mind. this moment. Your uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you. Um, I'm Sarachi. Oh, Bradubim. Yes. I thought it was anti cheesy. <coughs> what happened? Uh, she, she said that she was. I, I, I was going to tell her that. Um, I mean, I'll let her know when, when supper is ready. Uh, yes. She said she was going to let me know when supper is ready here. Is that so? Um, brother. How are you? Um, you said that you heard me singing. Yes, um, and you are still going to explain that to me because uh, it doesn't sit well with me. Oh, um, I'm, I'm hungry. Really? Okay, okay. come, come. Honey, take her. Yes, right. yes, yes. Thank you. Come, 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 okay? Make sure you eat well. Um, I will join you both when I'm done. All right, honey. Watch your step, watch your step. Watch your step, okay? Why you were nervous? Are you mad? Are you stupid? Don't you know that the man is a medical doctor? And he hears and perceives as well. Fool! Please, please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to tell him. I'll be more careful with my words next please, time. This time, you're using to apologize to me, to pray to God that the curiosity you must have aroused does not linger from what I saw in the room. If not, if not, <laughs> unless you don't love the man, the being. Idiot. Fool! So you can freeze to death. Mm -mm. Hey? Mm -mm. Now eat your food. I met our Everly Lively talkative cape man covering his mouth today when I came back. <laughs> James is ever lively and talkative as you rightly put it. And a bon clown as well. Oh yes, he's a clown. But even clowns have their moments of sobriety. <laughs> and nothing puts them in that mood than fear fear of their life. Honey, are you really trying to take James serious now? <laughs> no, I'm not. But he was talking about um, him did he want to die? He, he, don't, he doesn't want some non government to gun him down and um, Taliban's um, entering Kabul. <laughs> then, moments later when I entered Kosorachi's room, what she said and did seemed to me that that wasn't just the words of a clown. But she told you that there's nothing to do with it. And even after that, before bedtime, she was her same lively self. 
doesn't that have to tell you that you're just worrying over nothing? Am I? Yes. Look at me. Don't you trust me again? Don't you believe um, I have the capacity to tell you whatever that happens while you're away? It's okay. Let's go to bed. Make love to me. Thank you, Lord. Elohim, Eloha. Adaya, 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 Adaya. Thank you, man. Thank you, Lord. Uncle James, hmm? why are you thanking God? My dear, the thing is, um, but I'm about to win it. I'm about to win it. Let me, let me. If you try to expose your stupid manhood, I'll break you. Hey, out. hey, are you stupid? Huh? I will not remove it, man. Are you okay? Wait, do you people think I'm playing here? You think I'm for it? Hey, 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 hey. Oh, why should I come on? Why should I come on? Please don't kill me, please. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me, sir. Ma, I swear to God. I swear. I didn't say anything to her. I didn't say a word. I was just covering my nose like this. Shut up. Like money eyes. Shut up. Oh, could you? Hmm? Are you an attitude playing with my emotions? Playing with me? Is it because of... Playing with me? Ah! Ah! Playing with... Who is playing with you here? Filth? Who is playing with you? Will you keep quiet? Because Reggie, will you keep quiet? Hmm? John Cena, you can't see me. You cannot see what is going on here. I see what is going on. You want to die? You got to have a Kufu B. I'm the candidate of all like some people. What the money? Which people? Am I bad? Am I bad? Like some people? I see you bad. Shut up! Shut up! Listen. Hmm? I want to tell you that the same thing that happened yesterday that made my husband suspicious should never repeat itself. Do I make myself clear? Yes. James, if you do it, I will blow your head off for real. I will blow your head off. Kosarachi. Yes? Remember. Remember what I told you. Yes. Remember what I told you. Remember. Do otherwise and you know what will happen. I take promise. I will not say anything that will make brother the famous suspect. I swear. James, Ma? take her around the compound. Sorry? You heard me. Take her around the compound. And make sure she masters the nook and cranny of this compound. And if you do not do it, I'm not giving any of you food. No breakfast. No, no breakfast. Ma, I'll show you around. Let me show you around. Let me show you around because... Uh, let me show you around. Don't cry. Don't cry again. You see, if I don't show you around, no breakfast, no. So, I hope you saw the hole. You know, uh, the mosquito, where the mosquito, you know, where they lay their eggs. <laughs> so, all the cockroaches too. Mm, I was showing you. Those are the place they also sleep. Hmm? Okay. Uh -huh. I am going to see my pastor. So when my husband comes back and asks after me, tell him so. All right? Your, your pastor? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, so Remember I was... what I told you. Hmm. Okay. Please, do not do otherwise. I know why I'm begging you. Okay, ma. You know me. Ma, ma sorry. Uh, did you say your pastor? Okay, never mind. But Emma, I've, 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 I've been doing, you know, busy, you know, what you told me that I should show her around. So I was uh, showing her around, you know, where the cockroaches are, are where they are who and where, you know, they are free, they are Come and open the gates. Thank you for your compliment, ma. My good people of Lagos, listen. I run to liberate Lagos from extreme godfatherism and nepotism of one man, his family and cronies. To unlock and deploy the vast commonwealth of Lagos for the benefits of all the long-suffering Lagosians and not just for the few well-connected. Vote Labour Party, vote LP, I'm Badi Bros Viber and I'm Labour Party candidate for Governor of Lagos State.
It's all about choice, yo. Yeah. Power, power, we pass the power. So tell me who be your father? When you want this, my power. Power from my own father. Power, we pass the power. So tell me who be your father? When you want this, my power. Power from my own father. I feel my papa begin. Me hard like the sun. I'm a look young, sixteen. My neighbor me came mad enough. In my grief, I do me jo. I put up one of my my. In my grief, I so me jo. The power of the Almighty. Chine do more. I go de go. I go de go go go. I go de go. Chine 